Go ahead and do roll call. Um, Council Lady Porterfield. I'll come back. Councilman Cash. Present. Uh, myself, Council Lady Evans. Present. Council Lady Hancock. Present. Council Lady Hurt. Council Lady Hurt. Council Lady Lee. Councilman Rosenberg. Present. Thank you. Council Lady Swara. Present. And Council Lady Toombs. Present. Thanks. And Council Lady Porterfield. Council Lady Hurt. Council Lady Lee. Uh, we have a forum. Um, let me read the motion. Uh, and if I could get a second, I'd appreciate it. Uh, pursuant to Governor Lee's executive order number 78 regarding electronic meetings, I make a motion that the, this committee meeting agenda constitutes essential business of the Metropolitan Council, and that meeting electronically is necessary to protect the health, safety, and welfare of Tennesseans in light of the COVID-19 outbreak. Second. Thank you. Um, it, it, uh, all in favor, it can't, uh, uh, do we have to take a vote on this? Or can we just? Yeah. We, ha we have to take a vote and. Okay. okay. Uh, and then you can, and if everybody's yes, then we can just name who's present in the committee and we'll out loud and we'll be good. Okay, Councilman Cash. Uh, yes. Uh, Councilman Evans. Yes. Council Lady Hancock. Yes. Council Lady Rosenberg. Yes. Councilman Rosenberg, sorry about that. Yes. Uh, Council Lady Swara. Council Lady Rosenberg. <laughs> okay. Yes. And Council Lady Toombs. Aye. Aye, okay. So, uh, in favor seven to nothing. Uh, we just have one uh, agenda item. Uh, and it uh, approves and authorizes the director of public property administration or his designee to accept a donation of real property consisting of 15.9 acres of a portion of parcel for use as a proposed school site. Sounds like a good deal. Uh, Councilman Rutherford, are you here as a sponsor? I am, Mr. Chairman. Uh, would you like to make any comments or uh, provide any thoughts, sir? Uh, it is pretty straightforward. Uh, as it says, it, it is a donation, uh, a generous donation for the purpose of uh, a school, a future school site. And uh, I urge its passage by the committee. That's great. Just a, a side question. Is there a school close by that has that capacity by any chance? Um, I don't understand your question. Capacity. Uh, I didn't know if there's a grade school or a school close by at capacity that this would help relieve. Uh, there are a number of schools at capacity or exceeding capacity. So when Metro is at a point to build a new school in the area, this provides the, the land for that. And hopefully sooner rather than later, but um, this is a one step in that direction. Great news. Okay, good. Uh, any questions? Uh, Councilman Cash, your hand raised. Yes, thank you, Chair. Uh, I'm just curious if this is a straight out donation or if there is there are any like stipulations that that if it's sold, you know, sometimes we have we have school properties that are donated but or like land granted. But if um, if, you know, the, like the school system is forbidden from selling it and, and using the cash or if the, ca the the money goes back to the family, I'm just wondering if this is one of those deals or if it's just a straight land donation. And my understanding is that it's a straight land donation. It's a, a piece of a development. Um, so that's sort of how it came into being. And so I, I'm not aware of any stipulations on it uh, in that regard. Thanks, that's all. Any other questions? Sounds like a nice deal. Um, okay, let me uh, take the vote. Uh, Cash? Sorry, I'm a yes, yes. Okay, uh, Evans? Yes. Hancock? Yes. Rosenberg? Yes. Suarez? Yes. Thank you. Toombs? 
Aye. Okay, uh, Porterfield, Perch, or Lee. Okay, uh, we have seven, I, Chair votes yes, uh, seven in favor, uh, zero against. Uh, we support uh, this, this land. Um, just as a reminder, uh, appreciate everybody's work. Um, we have a joint meeting with the school board uh, this Thursday at five o'clock. Uh, we'll be talking about teachers. And then the next Thursday, uh, we will talk about uh, social emotional learning um, and restorative justice uh, with Judge Calloway. So the next two Thursdays, uh, we have joint meetings with the school board. We'd love to see you there. Um, we think it's a great opportunity to learn more about uh, the, the MMPS needs through the school board. Uh, so we have a great opportunity to get in front of the budget and understand their programs and needs. Uh, so love to see you there, five to six o'clock this Thursday and next Thursday. Uh, Councilman Cash, do you have a question? Yes, thank you, Chair. Uh, I have a question about, I guess it's about the, a question and then a comment to follow. And I guess it's about the, um, like what this committee is charged with, the parameters of what we're charged with. Um, and I guess my, my main question is, or an example of what I wanna know is, like we've got a bill from Council Lady Sepulveda on first reading that includes um, job training, you know, aspects of job training. And, you know, we've had other bills and, and community benefits agreements that, that do include some job training or, um, like internships, and I'm wondering if if something like that that relates to adult education as part of a, a metro ordinance is something that that we would review, or if it's something that we you know could ask to look at. Like ask that the, my my question is: um, Do bills that relate to um, professional development of our employees or of contracts that we engage in refer to this committee or is we are we just looking at k through 12 type stuff uh hannah, you know, hannah could you help us with that Ms. Island? sure or i can try i guess uh so generally speaking this committee really uh deals with things uh related to k through 12 education but um i'm trying to actually look up right now to see if uh if that if, if the if the bill that you're talking about has been referred to education and and i will say too that that anything that you that has not been referred to your committee or or you know this committee you can make a motion on the floor to have it re-referred uh so that might be a good avenue if there's if there's a bill that you know you see come coming through on second reading that you'd like to discuss and you notice it hasn't been uh referred to this committee by by our office um but yeah let me see if i can find that bill and i'll let you all know okay thanks and i would just i would just my i guess my comment is i would encourage us to um include job training job training related to uh, metro government or the contracts that we enter into as as important and part of our city's education thanks yeah good points Councilman cash I, uh, go ahead Chair, sorry, I am on my phone and cannot raise my hand, so my apologies sure. uh, for stepping out of order. But I, I do believe that the, the bill in question should come to us. Uh, part of the things that he's talking about, I know it's about construction, but when we're looking at construction contracts as a whole, has MMPS school and things like that involved in there. And so if there is a way for this committee to take a look at it, and maybe I know their procurement is different from Metro, but I would like a situation where there will be a synergy between whatever Metro is doing in procurement with what MMPS is doing as well. And since they will be heavily involved in things like that, I would like that bill uh, to, to come to this committee to be able to have uh, uh, our input as well. So, thank That's you. good. I, I think I, I would be receptive and any of us receptive to take a look at that because as Councilman Cash, I think it all re related to uh, education uh, and, and Clearly, if we don't catch them through that K through 12, there's opportunities because there's still a lot of needs out there. Um, uh, Mr. Withers, I saw you raise your hand, but no longer. Uh, the the I, I would just uh, leave with this. Uh, uh, Council Lady Porterfield and myself talked, as, as, and she is the former chair, 
of what we wanted the scope of the committee to be and, and our thoughts, and she had just started this, is to expand it so that we would have a greater um, interaction with um, uh, Metro schools uh, in more proactive fashion so that we would get to know programs and understand that they're in charge of policy, uh, MNPS and Dr. Battle are, are uh, execute uh, but we, we approved the budget. We just felt like um, it, that uh, was a good opportunity to get to know them and to get to know the programs underlying in the entire budget uh, as we go. Uh, Council Lady Porterfield, I just saw you raise your hand. Uh, thank you so much, Chair. I had a little bit of a connectivity problem getting on, and I just wanted to uh, note that I was here in the meeting with you all, so thank you. Thank you. We'll put you down as um, uh, affirmative and all. That's okay. Okay, that's uh, all we have. Again, look forward to seeing you this Thursday, next Thursday from five to six. The school board has worked really hard to put together an agenda. Um, and I think when we look at that 40% uh, approximately of our budget goes to schools and, and the importance of our kids uh, and their education, uh, I think it's really important for us to have uh, a, a deeper understanding of what they're doing and where they want to go. So appreciate anybody that can make it. With that, uh, the meeting's adjourned. Thank you.